guys, welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna to be doing a quick and easy fall centerpiece, a little bit of chit chat, and I have a special announcement at the end. So, let's go ahead and get started on this fall centerpiece. All right, what I'm gonna be doing is I have my uh, silver wine ice bucket. You know, I really wish this was a uh, sterling silver. It's actually just plated. So I thought it was really pretty. Carefully. Sorry, it's going to make a lot of noise on the glass here. Then I have some of the, the leaf picks that I'm going to bend down and spread out. And right now they're just going to be hanging off of here because I'm going to actually use my pumpkin to hold them in once I get uh, the few picks on here that I want. Looks like I dropped one. Hold on. And I kind of use most of my picks on my tree, my autumn tree, so I'm kind of low on these. Right, I'm just going to hold it there, and I have this big mercury glass pumpkin. I got this at the Pottery Barn many, many years ago. I got it on sale, and I also had a, an extra 20% off coupon, so uh, I went ahead and got two of them two sizes that they had. All right, so now I'm just gonna be taking some other picks and tucking them in. Move this around here. Basically, this is it. Like I said, it's quick and easy. It's just all about putting picks in where you want them. I'm just tucking them under the pumpkin because it has the grooves, so I have a little bit of space here. I think that is it. See how pretty that is? Now, you, know, you see this other pumpkin here. Now, this is just another option. I mean, I'm not going to do it, but these pumpkins have an opening. So very carefully, I can stick this over that stem. Let's move the camera. Then you have more like a pumpkin topiary going on. And you could also stick a few little leaves in here if you wanted to, but I think it even looks pretty this way. Okay, so like I said, quick and easy. Then, you know, might just need to do a little more tweaking here and there. And uh, like I said, that is it. So now we're gonna sit here at the table and have a little bit of a chit chat. Okay, well I told you it was a quick and easy centerpiece. Um, something to bring a little bit of color, like if you like to use a mercury glass, go ahead and use a little bit of your uh, fall oranges, reds, and yellows, and it just makes it pop even more. Now, um, just want to have a little bit of a chit chat with you. Now, uh, I know a lot of people doesn't, don't know that uh, I used to live in Oklahoma. I lived there from the ages of 8 to 30, and I moved back here to Colorado when I was 30. And uh, the reason I'm telling you this is because with fall coming up, class reunions are coming up too. And I have my notification for my 35th class reunion. Yes, uh, I graduated in 1984. So this year is my 35th class reunion, and unfortunately, you know, I, I won't be able to go to it since it's in Oklahoma. But uh, I found this picture. Now this was uh, one of my senior pictures. This was actually taken, they do them in October, uh, right when school starts, so I was 17 at the time. I was uh, 18 when I graduated. I don't know if you can see this very well. But uh, this was one of my mom's favorite pictures of me. And uh, she had it blown up, huge, as you can see, and had it framed. And you know, I kind of like it too. You know, uh, another thing about the senior pictures is where um, you had your senior pictures taken out. We had one photographer in town. It's a small town of eight, about 8,000 people called Blackwell. And uh, she always took the pictures at this one house 
that uh, the house wasn't anything special. It was kind of run down a little bit, and uh, I think it was mainly rent rented out to people. But it had many beautiful trees, and, and it was a lot of greenery and everything, bushes. So it was real pretty to do. And the only reason that I know a lot about the house is when we first moved to Oklahoma to that town, we lived right next door to that house. So I remember when I was little, and I'd be playing in the backyard, I would see everybody over there getting their pictures taken. And, uh, and of course, when I got my picture taken, we didn't live in that house anymore. We lived in a different one. But uh, just, uh, it was a real pretty yard. I, I give the house that. It was a, a big two-story house, but it really needed some work done to it. But like I said, you didn't really, they didn't show any of the house in the pictures, just all the trees. And they had one tree in the backyard that was real interesting. It was kind of like a Y shape. And it was really low, so you could just kind of, she'd have you kind of lean into it and she would take your picture. So uh, that's kind of cool uh, with that. Uh, so uh, enough of that. <laughs> oh, uh, another thing I want to mention is I want to show you these pumpkins that I got. Now I got one of them. I'm not sure if you're going to see it very early get up here. This one, you can see the lace on it. Isn't this beautiful? I got this one at uh, Home Goods yesterday. When I went there on my lunch and then I went over to Tuesday morning and they had one like this it's the exact same pumpkin but just a different stem but as you can see it's the same lace and I thought oh these are so pretty you know I have a little idea what I'm gonna do with one I'm not gonna reveal it yet but uh, speaking of pumpkins I don't know if a lot of you have seen uh, our lens um, when she did her dining room sideboard with that gorgeous uh, glass pumpkin. So I just loved it. I would love to have glass pumpkins, but you know me lately, I've been breaking a lot of things and it's bad enough to have something resin. But glass, I'd probably really break it. But she has a really gorgeous uh, pumpkin that uh, you need to go see that video. I'm actually going to link it down below if you haven't seen it because I really like what she did with it. You know, it's kind of similar like what I did here where you tuck things, but she's got blue flowers in it and it's so gorgeous with the blue flowers. So you need to check out her video. Like I said, I got it down below. So if you want to click on it and check it out, you can. Now, uh, the little special announcement that I have, you might have noticed something back here behind me. So I'm gonna grab this, this little witch here, this cute little witch. Now, uh, this is something that I've, I actually made, and uh, I've mentioned before, and if you're new to my channel, you might not know, but I used to do toll painting, and I did craft shows. Now, and she actually, let's see her arms move. They're wired. You can tell the wire in the back here. Now, I actually do all this myself. I cut out the wood, and I do all the painting and putting together. And uh, so, the little special announcement, uh, well, besides that, I would love to start doing this again, and I might, might be doing this here soon, doing my crafts again and selling them, because uh, we're actually thinking about retiring from our business in the year. We've signed an, uh, one more lease with the building, and uh, I think that might be it. So I would love to start concentrating on doing my YouTube channel here for you guys and getting some crafts done. But uh, the real special announcement I have is I'm going to be giving her away. You can see she's a pretty good size. You know, I think she's well over 12 inches tall. And uh, just a cute little witch. I Like I said, I don't really like the, the creepy, scary stuff. I like the little cute things. So that's why I made her. And, uh, and this is not anything that I came up with my own design. It's uh, from pattern books that I have. But, uh, you know, I have uh, drawn up a few things that I would like to do myself eventually. So, uh, I guess I, I want to give her away. And I really, really wanted to do it when I hit 5,000 subscribers. I am um, a little bit over 4,600 subscribers, and I'd really, really like to get some more subscribers up to 5,000. Because I'd love to give her away and that you can get her in time for Halloween. So, uh, I'm thinking about doing that. So uh, if anybody's interested, I, I would like to make sure uh, that I get enough people interested because this is open for subscribers only and it will be in the United States and in Canada. 
So let me know in the comments below if you uh, really like her and would like to have a chance to win her. Okay. All right. Well, that is going to do it for the video today. Now, Friday, I am going to be showing my home tour. I still got to get my video done. I was doing a little tweaking in the dining room. I have a new tablescape and I have some new decor on my buffet. So I got a little more tweaking to do in there and that will be on the home tour. So it's mainly going to be just my main level here because I don't really do anything upstairs. I'm going to be revamping that cabinet upstairs and I'll be showing that later, maybe uh, next week. So it's going to be my entry, the living room there, where my tree is, the dining room here in the kitchen, the family room. We'll go ahead and go in the study again, even though I really don't have anything except for the, the mantle that I did. And I haven't done anything in the powder room yet. It's really hard. I'll kind of show you a little bit of it. It's really hard to get in there and do anything. It's just long and skinny, so it's kind of hard to get any kind of camera going in there. But uh, we'll take a little peek in there, too. So that will be up for Friday. Now, uh, like I said, that, I can't think of anything else today. I think that is it for today. So I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.